Hey there, it's Catherine Cartwright. Welcome. I'm going to jump right into this card. I've got an ink blended card I wanted to share today. I've got some Bristol cardstock that is cut to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I love to use the Bristol Smooth, not the vellum. The vellum has a different finish on it and it doesn't blend as well, in my opinion, as the Smooth. I keep a large packet, um, I guess it's a large pad of it, I should say, um, in my craft stash all the time. And, um, and I like to use that because it just blends so well. And you'll see here uh, what I'm talking about, like right there, I make a big old smudge and I just went right back over it. It gives you such a nice play of time to move the ink around. So I just really enjoy it for that reason. So I highly recommend the Bristol. And I picked that up in my local craft store and then I cut it down to whatever size I need. Um, but again, I'm working for um, on a slimline card this time. All right, so I've got a few distress inks here. And I think that first one was antique linen. I'll, I'll link them in the description. Um, I think the second one was Victorian violet. And then now this is seedless preserves. I love seedless preserves. It is such a beautiful color. I'm working on a background for a scene. I'm going to do a slimline card, like I said, and it's going to have kind of an outdoor um, scene to it. So I'm working on making uh, kind of a sunset sky. And, um, and then the next color I'm going to use is uh, blue, no, chipped sapphire. I always get that one mixed up, um, but uh, chipped sapphire. And I think my paper right here in the top right, you can see a little kind of smudgy thing. I, I think I must have had a little um, something in the paper, the fiber or something. And because um, I don't think I got a smudge on there, I could have, but it looks like a little bit of a uh, the way that the paper was put together. So I'll just cover that up with a sentiment. Uh, next, I'm going to end with the black soot. I'm using my Ranger uh, Distress Tool, I guess you call it, and the ink blending tool. I've, I vary between using this because I have one for each of my little mini inks. So it makes it very easy to just pull out my little wooden tool and put that foam piece on there and blend. But I also have brushes that I use. Um, and sometimes I even have a finger dauber. So there are a lot of different ways to apply ink for uh, your cards. And this is just one of the ways that I like to do it. I've got a little bit of mint tape there that I'm using to hold down my paper as I make my way. I don't want to get my fingers in there because I know it's still a little bit damp. And I'm going to come back here and just kind of work on blending, smoothing out my blend. Although I'll be honest, I could have stopped right here and I would have been pretty happy with it. Um, I think it blended up pretty well. But sometimes you just want to go back over and get a little bit more blend or you want to add a little more interest or detail to it. And then I'm going to come back here and blend these colors together. But again, just I highly recommend the Bristol. Trying it out if you've never used it before and you like to ink blend. I used to use what I would call a traditional white card stock, um, you know, that you could purchase wherever. But I just found somebody recommended this years ago, and I have found that the Bristol, for me, works really, really well. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to put my card together. I've got some different components here. I've got this adorable camper. Um, this is a diamond press set. Uh, it's, it's actually a Christmas camper set. There's a little camper, this one, that you can color any color. And then the other one that's included in the set has a Christmas theme. It's got like a, um, a tree on the top. And so it's definitely more Christmassy. But when I saw that there was a kind of non-Christmas one, I wanted to make some other cards with it. I also made a Halloween camper with it. I'll link that uh, video. I just released that in the description. So if you happen to have this set or you happen to have a camper set, you might be inspired to create a couple of cards. These cactus um, are from Layered Cactus, and that is also an older diamond press set. I've got some older sets that I'm making my way through. I'm determined <laughs> the second half of 2022 to try and use up some of the, th the things I have not used yet, and this is one of those sets. 
I watercolored that camper just so you know that's on watercolor paper I used some of my I think they're spectrum noir tricolors but they're watercolor so they're just kind of fun for something different to color with I've got the little hello die this is included in that uh, layered cactus set and I will add that on there I cut it from the pink same pink as my cardstock and then these little adorable clouds I found in my craft stash recently too that I'm going to add in a second. Those are from Simon Says Stamp. They are really old. They're a flat, I think it's flat bottomed border cloud or something like that. And I'll try and write the name down. Maybe you've got it as well. But I love the way that they look and they come in three different sizes. So I just cut them for some, from some gray cardstock and then I'm just going to glue those directly onto my panel. So I've got a fun little outdoor scene here. I would love to go RVing. I haven't been since I was very young. My dad took us a couple of times. He had a friend with a camper. One time the battery died and we couldn't find it forever and there was there was no cell phone so we had to go use a pay phone and we were stranded in a parking lot and it was underneath the stairs. So when you walked into the camper we were, I think I was sitting on it or my, my mom was sitting on there just, it was hot and we were tired and he had to go in and find a phone, call somebody and he opened it up and there was the battery. So anyway, we were able to get home, but it was quite an adventure and I'm just showing you there, you could add a little something into the window of your card. Um, so there's a lot of fun to be had with it, but leave me a comment. Let me know if you are an RVing person. I'm curious. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.